because everybody else wants you here. Yeah. You know, you're surprised the strength that you can have. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you could be the littlest guy, the littlest woman mm-hmm. around there, mm-hmm. but you could probably have some of the biggest strength of bodybuilder. Yeah, sure. You never know how strong you can be until being strong is the only option you have. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Yeah. That, that was actually that? that was Bob Marley. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen yeah. that quote because I'll yeah, I'll, I'll look up quotes all the time. Yeah, just to kind of give myself that little bit yeah. of a, sure a pep talk that yeah. it's like, hey, you can do hard things. You can because you never know. I mean, other people are going through really hard times as well. Sure, but it's like and it, it's always good. I mean, after my brother passed, my sister made a comment that has always stuck with me that Mm -hmm. you treat everybody that you're around as if they're having the worst day of their life. Wow. Uh, Well, that makes sense. I like that. Yeah. Because you don't know. It's like the day my brother passed away. You never know what people are going through. Yeah. Yeah. I got pulled over. Yeah. And I'm like, why am I getting pulled over? And all I wanted to say to the cop is, do you know what just happened to me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he didn't. Of course he didn't. But again, it's, and I didn't expect him to, not give me a ticket just because of that. Yeah. But it's like still regardless of your situation and the people that you meet, I mean, just a, a small smile, mm-hmm. anything like that, right. that can maybe make a difference in a person's life. For sure. That's why I like when the, uh, the cashiers always wear their name badge. Cause when you call them by name, you say, thank you. And you say, say their name. Hey, thanks you. Thanks Jenny for, you know, when you, when you, they put your groceries away, you know, and all that, that like, it makes their day. They, you see their eyes light, well, lighten up. And it's like, different Man. than just saying thank you to them is what mm-hmm. you mean, right? Well, just the smile is one thing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saying the words is another thing. Calling them by name yes. is another thing. So it's that's, just kind of like a, a Calling level them of, by name I think is yeah. huge. Yeah. It is huge. Yeah. And that's why I appreciate when they wear their badges because then I can I can do that. And it, if it's one thing that I can do because I've, I've cashier, I was doing that for a while, a long time ago and I didn't like it. I hated it. Yeah. yeah. So, so I know I they're not it, in the best situation. I did it for like uh one month maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and right now think of it, they're wearing masks. They have like a shield, a, yeah. you know, a barrier between be the stressful. people. Like it's, it, mm-hmm. it's not an easy job right now. No, so. it's not. Give people a smile, say, them, say their name. Well, you, you took the time to know them a little bit more. Sure. Mm-hmm. I want to ask you where you you said that you always are looking up quotes, but who motivates you? Who do you look to to for inspiration? Yeah, for inspiration and stuff like that. That's kind of a hard one because you know different situations. I think of different people. Yeah, sure. When it comes to strength, determination, and different different things like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, most recently, I look at my dad. I look at my mother-in-law yeah. who have lost their spouse of 60 plus yeah, that's, years. And wow, yeah. Yeah, that's hard. You look at their courage, their strength to keep going. Mm-hmm. But motivating, I don't know if I really compare myself to a lot of people as far as motivating. I mean, I look at some of your stuff on Instagram of mm-hmm. your workouts that you've got with people. And it's like, I think the people that probably get me the most is when I see the underdog yeah. sure. that's yeah. trying. Um, sure. What's that kid's name? The young kid. Yeah. Max? Yeah, Max. Max always motivates me. Dude, Max is, so he's a 14-year-old kid. And he is, well. He can deadlift well, like, 285, when, 295. When I <laughs> first saw him on John's page, yeah. he was like kind of chubby. Yeah, and like he was the, a lot shorter. And, and now he's like ripped. Yeah, he's he's a he's, he's a man. He's a man boy. Yeah. He's like just big. Yeah. And you know, he he's definitely he inspires me every time. Oh and, yeah. Me and I too. know that I inspire him, you know, he'll say the same thing. But I, I get what you mean. Sometimes I don't in on my Instagram, sometimes I don't film the, the underdog. Sometimes they yeah. don't want to be filmed. Right. Sometimes I have client I have plenty of clients that are like, Nope, I don't want to be yeah. in that. Well, but I'm like, but then you could inspire yeah. so many people. I have, I have this lady that won't let me film her, and she is like, she out squats me. She can outlift like everybody. She's explosive. She's strong. She's powerful. She's an awesome person. She has a great personality too. But she's like, nope, she won't do it. And and I get and that's that. Fine. <laughs> but like you said, look at who you could maybe inspire. Yeah, that's yeah. what you got to think about is mm-hmm. the 
amount of people you can inspire by one simple thing. Sure. It's amazing. Like, and to be able to put it on social, social media or whatever in, in um, that mag- magnifies it mm-hmm. by like tenfold. Yeah. Well, just knowing Shane the last few years, watching him from the very first time I saw him come into the gym yeah, to today, you're like two different people. Yeah. That's and awesome. I, I hope I'm two different people in the same amount of time, you know, yeah. in the Be- next three years, yeah. in the next three. Well, oh, right yeah. before, I think with all the chemo, it was hard to know when I was at the gym last, but the time that I saw you where you were actually like running on the treadmill. Yeah. 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 And I thought, I thought back on that and I thought, I remember the first day watching you come in there and then doing what you were doing at the Smith machine, doing the squats and yeah. things. It's like that right there that inspires me because even though you think you can't do it or somebody mm-hmm. gets a bad diagno- bad diagnosis of mm-hmm. whatever sure it's like iron will or yep. determination iron show will. people oh yeah that i can do this mm-hmm. i mean if anything you try mm-hmm. for sure for sure and i think you'll surprise yourself how strong you can be yeah. how far you can push yourself if yeah. you have wise words from denzel you get wiser, I think, as you get older and you make bigger mistakes. <laughs> but that's, that's part of where the wisdom comes, right? If you never made any mistakes, okay? If you never well, what would veered you, off your path yeah, ever what at would all. you have the opportunity yeah, to learn from? To learn from, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can learn from other people. I, I get it. I don't want my kids doing anything that I did. <laughs> but, <laughs> but so you can learn from others' experiences. But sometimes you need that personal experience to really grow and have more wisdom. Mm -hmm. And that's why they say, you know, when you're older, you're more wise. And I believe it because I used to think I knew everything in my twenties and I'm like, not even close. And I am still not even, I'm not even touching the, I'm not even out of the the water yet to get, you know, like I tell my boys that all the time. It's like, I'm not doing this to discourage you. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, this was my experience. So do what you will with the advice sure, and then go. If it works, great. If it doesn't. It's mm-hmm. probably, that's probably the greatest feeling of being a parent. I yeah. would imagine um, I'm not a parent, but um, is if they can learn from something that, something that you went through and use your stories and stuff like that, mm-hmm. it's got to be so rewarding. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. When your daughters come up to you and they say, hey, I want to marry a guy like you, yeah. <laughs> man, brings tears to your eyes and you're just like, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, only nine yeah. more times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got six daughters. Come on. <laughs> that's six, six of them. And one day I'll have, I'll have son-in-laws. Yeah. People are like, aren't you going to go for your son? I'm like, no. No. You'll get another daughter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. That's the thing. <laughs> we make girls. That's it. Yeah. yeah we made boys. Oh yeah. We already yeah. tried six times. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's awesome because one day I'll have son-in-laws that yeah. I can connect with yep. and, and I'll have grandsons. Yeah. So that's true. If they decide that I can't make the decisions for my children. <laughs> yeah. We know how all, how I feel about choice. You need to be able to make <laughs> your own choices. Well, again, that's where you're going to learn. Oh yeah. That's where you're going to learn whether it's a good choice or a bad choice. Sure. You'll learn from your mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, going through this whole situation, it's, you learn a lot about yourself. You'll learn about a lot about other people. Yeah, for sure. And some people, Shane, you probably know how some people, they find it hard to approach you. Yeah. Mm. So they, instead of saying something to you, they avoid you Mm -hmm. because they don't know how to. To have a conversation, I yeah. guess. They're not sure how to be empathetic or... Well, I think yeah. a lot of times, especially for me, I, I'm not sure if it, you go through the same thing, but people ha- um, ask me what happened to me, like all the time. And sometimes I just like in a grocery store or something like that, I don't want to explain to them. And so I just say, I hurt my arm or something like that. But you, sh- you should make it a joke, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you should be like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, something's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, what? How bad is it? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, you're, you're, you're limping. I, I am? I, well, what? I think a lot of times, like uh, for me, people that have, 
sons or daughters that have similar 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 symptoms to mine mm-hmm. know how to approach it a lot better than sure. someone that just is mm-hmm. curious yeah sure well and for maybe people listening it's you know maybe you're one of those people mm-hmm. that you don't know how to approach somebody with a cancer diagnosis or Shane with uh, yeah traumatic, traumatic brain, brain injury, injury, some type of disability or some type it's of, it's like, yeah. you know, all I can say is you just go up and talk to him like, nor- I'm yeah. like, I'm normal. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not, there's there nothing no wrong. different you can still from, talk to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I thought more about that before my injury that I would not be able to talk to someone in like a wheelchair after my injury. It's just, we have something in common, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's almost easier to approach that guy. They're all yeah. just like us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, like you, what we were saying earlier, when you came into the gym, there was the time I wanted to help you when you got on the elliptical, yeah. not the elliptical, elliptical, but the the bike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you were trying to get the seat down. I thought, I'm going to go help him. I'm like, nope. Yeah. He's got to do it on his and own. And I appreciate mm-hmm. that more than the help. Like, I appreciate you not helping me, you know, that mm-hmm. does that make sense? It did. Well, I sat there and I thought about it and I'm like, well, he's here for a reason, obviously. Yeah. So right. he, and he's here. He knows how to adjusting get the machine right. is part of my therapy also. Mm-hmm. So right. even though that might be the hardest part, yeah. the actual writing might be easier, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. It's, all, it's all a part of the full process. Yeah. No, but for those listening, it's like, you know, sometimes it's nice that if somebody will just talk to you, yeah, you don't have to carry on a full conversation. A high, mm-hmm. you don't have to avoid us. You're not going right. to catch what we have. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. So you know, again, it's just you just talk to us like we're normal. Yeah. I mean, to look at me, I look normal because of the type of chemo I get. I don't mm-hmm. have the typical sure cancer patient look. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So that's a little bit about what you're going through. But how can people stay in touch with you and, and be inspired by to you. follow your story? I guess they could follow me on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I had Facebook for a while and just I felt like I was probably wasting too much time sitting yeah. there. I would find myself just scrolling up and down the page and seeing yeah. the same thing over and over. Yep. But that's where I thought I, I can be doing other things. But mm-hmm. they could find for me sure. on Facebook. Not Facebook, but Instagram. Uh, Instagram. It's a... Uh... What's your Instagram again? Son of Ford. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. Spelled with an E. It's my dad's name. Ford, F-O-R-D-E. Okay. Okay. But Son of Ford, I I put pictures on there that that I take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he puts a lot of photography type pictures. Cool. I used to have pictures of when I was at the gym and my progress and things that I would do. Sometimes I would put things on about my chemo treatment. Mm -hmm. I would... I would do it to try to let people know where I'm at. Maybe sure. those who were afraid to ask. Mm, sure. And then sometimes you get to the point where you get asked so yeah. much that it, it was nice to be able to put it out there so people could see yeah. where you're at. Yeah. But I mean, anybody in this type of situation with cancer, I'm happy to talk to anybody. Yeah. Because it's not an easy process and everybody's cancer is different. Sure. And everybody gets, has a different experience with it. Mm-hmm. Some people have a different outcome. Mm-hmm. I mean, hopefully this won't come back again. They say with bladder cancer, it's very common for it to come back. Hopefully where mine did, that's the last. But they say anywhere 15 to 25 years that it can come back again. Hmm. It's very common in males. Yeah. I think what so far 2020, 81,100 new diagnoses with bladder cancer. And it's that's crazy. It's actually on the increase hmm. because the chemo that we get, I mean, Literally, it is, what, maybe two ounces. And the BCG, it, they actually give me live tuberculosis in addition with the chemo that helps sure. to kill the cancer. The bladder cancer is on the rise so much because of vaping, oh, smoking, yeah. oh. mm-hmm. that right now there's the shortage on the chemo. Because the last time I scheduled to have my chemo, they actually had to cancel it because they didn't know when they would get more huh. chemo in. Mm. Luckily, they were able to find some. But and now, you said it's a different type for bladder cancer, right? Yeah, it's called okay. BCG. Okay. Mm. But what they do is there's only one manufacturer in the U.S. right now that yeah. makes it. It's a I think it's called the Merrick Company. 
that mm-hmm. makes it for all America. of the U.S. and Europe. Because a lot of places 